as your realtor, one thing I will not do <laughs> is sell you a story and sell you a dream. From the beginning, I'm going to be honest with you about each part of your home buying experience, okay? I do not want any of my clients, any of them, to get less for their home than what it is actually worth. And I most definitely, for my buyers, do not want you to sign onto a contract that will place you in a uncomfortable position within a few years. There are many mortgages, okay? The ones that we are most familiar with, the public, is of course FHA, conventional, and the veteran, the VA loan. Those are what we talk about the most, but there are many other loans that lenders use and can use, especially when it comes to investors. Um, that's what most of the other you know, loans are for, are for investors. Um, so when a first time home buyer uses a loan that's built for an investor, it can really be the detriment of that first time home buyer within a few years. There are loans out like, um, three to one loan buy down where they will use your down payment to make your interest rate lower and they can do that. And again, this is typically for an investor because an investor is not going to hold on to that home within a few years. They're not, you know, flippers and things. They don't own these homes for long. Um, so this is one of the loans that they use, but anyway, so with that, that first year on the loan, you can have a really low interest rate you know, like a 3% interest rate. You can have a really low interest rate, but it be low market interest rate, okay? This is why if you if you can get an interest rate right now that's below market and it's not a new construction community, have that lender really tell you what you're getting into, okay? This is why it's important to have trustworthy professionals in your corner because you can sign on to something and you don't know what you're really signing. So, with a three, a three to one, um, buy down so you can have a really low interest rate that's remarkably below the current market okay but it's not a fixed mortgage okay so that means after year one your mortgage amount is going to go up and then after year two your mortgage is going to go up and after three um after year three your mortgage is going to go up no one can estimate to you what that monthly mortgage payment could be. So you could really put yourself in a position to where in, you know, three years when that mortgage is has gone up, has continuously increased, you now cannot afford this home. This is why that type of loan I do not promote for my first time home buyers because it can really be a detriment, like for real. Um no one, no one knows what's going to happen with mortgage rates in one, two, three years. No one knows. It can go down and it can increase. But what you don't want to be is a person that's already a homeowner and you're now forced in a position where your, um, your loan is going up uncontrollably and there's nothing you can do about it because you did not sign a 30-year fixed loan. Okay? It is extremely important, extremely important to sign a 30 year fixed loan. In my opinion, for just about any home buyer, if you're a home buyer and you know you're gonna live in that residence for a while, you need to make sure that your mortgage payment is a mortgage payment that you can actually afford for these 30 years. So I know a lot of realtors, they like to preach, um, you know, marry the house, not the, the loan. And I get that, I understand that. However, comma. <laughs> You need to make sure, in my opinion, that you can always afford this home. It'd be wonderful if the mortgage rates go down and you can refinance and you're like, dang, I'm saving this much more. Woohoo! That's amazing. God bless you. However, you don't want to be in a mortgage payment where you're like, dang, it's been one year. The rates still haven't gone down. One year, two, these, these payments still have not gone down. Don't place yourself in that position where you really honestly cannot afford that home. And you're only in that home with the hope of mortgage rates going down. Okay, I do not do that to my buyers. Like literally when we get these estimates and this is why I 
my process is to make sure my buyers are pre-approved from the beginning. I do that so we can actually look at um, homes in the price range for a mortgage that they can actually afford. Okay, because you can be approved for a million bucks, but if you don't want a five, six thousand um, dollar monthly mortgage, then that's you don't need to be shopping for a home in the highest amount. Okay, so once we get you pre approved, then we'll look at your interest rate, what is going on, you know, if you have uh, cash that you can use, which helps keep your rate low, or if you're going to use down payment assistance, which normally makes um, your interest rate a little higher because you're using that program. Um, that's when we can actually get some. Um, estimates to see where that mortgage amount will be and we shop in that range that is why i moved the way i move uh, I, because it's for you it saves you time it saves me time and we're realistically shopping for you which is most important um so i just want to put that out there because i mean you know reality is we all i just want to put that out there because i've been seeing some things and i'm like wow that's sort of misleading uh, but i just stay in my lane you know, but for anyone that's following me, I just want my people to know that I will never lead you um, on a route where I know in a few years um, you will probably be hating me. <laughs> and not to sound like that, but it all falls back on us, the, the real tour. Like, you know, of course, of course I'm in it because I have bills to pay. I have children to take care of. Of course, I'll lie if I say I'm not in it for that but i'm also in there because i care about the people i care about um buyers i care about my sellers and i want to make sure i'm a part of a transaction that you would be grateful for for years um that that is what makes me happy um so i just want to put that out there so why should you work with me as a realtor because i actually care i'm ethical i educate you and i will not sell you a dream you know, so if we have to wait for you to fix your credit, um, I'd rather you, if you need down payment assistance, I'd rather you wait and I wait until you're at a 640 credit score and your um, uh, DTI, your debt to income ratio is down so that you can actually be approved for mortgage that you, that you can actually afford. Um, or, you know, when we get your credit score to at least a 620, we'll see, you know, what cash you have already saved up, or if you want to use some of your 401k, um, as a down payment to help you keep that interest rate low. We'll always look at that, but what I am not going to do, and I don't even tell my buyers about it, but I am not going to tell you all about a loan that I know increases over the years and no one controls what the amount of your mortgage could be so you can have a mortgage right now and say yeah i'm gonna pay a 1500 yeah 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 okay but then next year and don't forget you have property insurance that goes up no one knows how much that you know that'd be if your your insurance could always increase there's things that can happen so you know those will go up you know gradually but you don't want your mortgage to say well dang it was 1500 now it's 1800 oh shoot now my mortgage is 2300 like it can really go up, you know, a good seven, eight hundred dollars. Your mortgage, just your mortgage. This is not including your insurance or anything, you know. But I just wanted to put that out there. Vet your people. I don't have to be a real tour. I understand we all have friends and family, you know, but vet your people for real. You know, if they're telling you about something you never heard about or sounds too good to be true, it's most likely too good to be true. And the fine lines have not been spoken about, okay? Um, I just wanted to put that out there because I, I feel bad for anyone in a situation where they are in a 321 buy down and they believe they're in a deal and they will not know until their mortgage company says, hello, happy anniversary, here's a letter for you. Similar, like, similar to like when um, it's our birthday and the taxes, uh, we get that letter in the mail and it's like, okay, time to renew your tag. You don't want that letter in the mail when it's like, okay, well, happy anniversary on your home. Now we're going to go ahead and increase your mortgage to this amount. And there's nothing you can do about it. You know, I, I just, we all hope in life that we evolve and, and our money increases and we all make more money. But in life, things happen that we do not plan. And we're not in a position where we can up and go and up and move. So we have to stay where we are because... We're just not in a position where we can up and move, you know? So I would hate 
for you to be in a position where you had to max out some cards or your credit is not where it was when you originally bought that home. So now not only can you not afford your home, you can't even sell it and buy another home because your credit is not where it needs to be. And that's reality, that is life. There are homeowners right now that purchased a home years ago, but now they're in a position where they can't just go purchase a home because their credit is not where it was. That's just reality. It's nothing that anyone irresponsibly do or does. Life just happens. Life happens. And because life just happens, we want to make sure that we're in a position where we always have a roof over our head because it will suck if life starts to happen and that storm comes and it comes to all of us. No one's exempt from a storm coming. And but but the storm comes and these bills are racking up and, and you have finally been able to budget out your bills to get a letter in the mail that says, well, now your mortgage is going up X, Y and Z because you're not in a fixed mortgage. So please, my first time home buyers, please be patient and just wait to get your credit score up where it needs to be. So you don't feel like you need to force yourself into a mortgage that is not fixed, okay? Please, 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 30 year fixed mortgage, 15 year fixed mortgage. Sometimes you can get a 40 year fixed mortgage, but please make sure your mortgage is fixed. It's one thing if the rates go down, and you can refinance and and you're saving that much more money bless but it's a whole nother story where you're getting a letter in the mail and your mortgage rate is actually increasing every year okay so don't follow the hype guys if it sounds too good to be true it's most likely too good to be true so again you should work with me as your realtor because i'm honest i'm ethical i have stellar customer service skills for you and also the vendors around because we have to deal with in uh, insurance companies we have to deal with inspectors we have to deal with the listing agent other brokerages um to purchase a home there's literally a list of people that i connect you to you know and that we all work with until your home is closed and you want an agent that's approachable that's respectful and that has wonderful communication skills and that is i <laughs> but um I, yeah, again okay i just want to put that out there um have a wonderful day be blessed um again no matter what lender you're working with unless you're in that position or um where you know you're going to have a lot of money in a few years or unless you're an investor Make sure you sign onto a fixed mortgage. That is extremely important. All right, this is Girl J. Kelly Sells Real Estate. All right, I'm a Central Florida um, Realtor. So if you or anyone you know are looking to buy or sell in the Central Florida area or the state of Florida, uh, please go ahead and call or text me, 689-229-8178. You can follow me on Instagram or Facebook. I am um, J. Kelly Sells Real Estate. Um, I definitely look forward to your business. If you're moving here from out of state, hey, hey, <laughs> I could definitely help you with your relocation. Um, or if you live in any state within the U.S. of A, I have, I'm in this uh, group with a bunch of dope realtors throughout the states. And I could refer you right on over to someone that I know will take great care of you and your family. Um, so yeah, this is your girl, J. Kelly Sells Real Estate. Don't forget, if it sounds too good to be true, it's most likely too good to be true. Alrighty, have a good day. Be blessed.